Hello and welcome to Jurisit channel. Since your UGC net law paper is going to be conducted on 14th of October and right now you must be rigorously doing the revision. Especially the important topics which has been frequently asked in the previous year papers which is of course relevant for your exam. But some of you might be skipping the minor topics or the topics which are less frequently asked and believe me these questions can surprise you in the exam right in the upcoming exams so considering this just to ease your preparation i have come up with those topics which are easily missed out in your last minute preparation schedule right let's see what are those topics so under jurisprudence apart from the important definitions and the schools of jurisprudence you shouldn't ignore the concept of law and morality especially the points given by the uh, HLA Hart and Fuller. Next is the important publication or the books. So just try to remember the publications together with their author and the year of publication. I've already made a video on this topic. You may refer in the description box. The third one is the concept of rights and duties. It's very important that you should know that what are the theories given under the concept of right, right, including the Hoffeld analysis. Next one is the law, poverty and development, global justice, modernism and postmodernism. Right, these are also important, so do not ignore these topics as well. The reason to this is that last year we have witnessed a question related to the global justice. Right, so do not undermine these topics. There is a huge probability that at least one or two questions might be asked from these topics in your upcoming attempt. Next and one of the most important subject covered under your UGC net syllabus is constitution as majority of questions are asked from this subject. Now let us see that what are those topics which you shouldn't sideline while doing the preparation. So the first one is the legislative procedure for passing bills. For this just go through the Bayer Act provision. Next one is the relationship between union and state. You know the importance of this concept hence you shouldn't ignore the concept of judicial doctrines which has been given under this context. Third is the union judiciary. So I would insist you to go through the Bayer Act provisions from Article 136 to 145. Next is the emergency provision. You should know that what is the tenure of the emergencies which has been covered under the constitution. And together with that, just try to also know that how they can be approved and when they are in both. Next one is the amendment. You should know that what which are the important amendments which have been made so far together with this just try to also remember the recent ones also next is the tra temporary transition and the special provisions of the state so for this also you just have to simply go through the bear act provision it will be sufficient now let us just come up to the basic concepts of the constitution like borrowings of indian constitution and the schedules these are also important just also revise them before appearing in the exam if i talk about the schedules just also go through the items which has been listed under schedule 7 8 11 and 12 they are very important right now the last one is the landmark judgments of course you cannot sideline them so whatever the uh, landmark judgments you have covered under the constitution just try to revise them right it will be helpful for you Next important subject is public international law. So under this, do not ignore the concept of de facto and de jure recognition is very important. And especially stress on the important cases which has been discussed under this topic. Next one is the extradition asylum. So do not ignore this topic as well. Just try to know the concept and the difference between them. The third one is the ICJ. For ICJ, what you have to do is just try to remember the tenure, the members, the jurisdiction and the important cases which has been decided by the ICJ so far. The fourth one is the WTO Minister Conferences. So you have to make a list of the Minister Conferences and just try to remember them together with their year. Then uh, we have got settlement of disputes. This is also a very important part of UN Charter. So just go through each chapter 6 and 7 of UN Charter and just have a cursory reading of the provisions. Next one is a landmark judgments. So I have already made a video on this topic. You may refer in the description box. Now we have got humanitarian law. So for this, especially just go through the Geneva Conventions of 1949 and their addition protocols, it will be sufficient for you. 
Now the next subject is IPC, right? It's also one of the most important subject which is covered under your UGC net syllabus. So under this, do not ignore the concept of common intention and common object, which is the starting point of the IPC. Then we have got the concept of abatement and criminal conspiracy. Then we have got general exceptions. Of course, you have to go through each and every section which has been covered under general exceptions together with the private defense. And then also go through the illustrations part also. Right. Now, for the provisions which has been covered under the offenses against the state, against the property and against the women and children, at least have the bare act reading of the offenses right just try to understand the ingredients of these offenses and the punishment given therein right it will be sufficient for you the bare act reading will be sufficient next is a punishment so just try to know that what are the theories and the types of punishment right then we have got landmark judgments as you know that the ugc net always focuses on the landmark and the important judgments Right, they uh, they give priority to the landmark judgments as compared to the recent one. So just focus on the landmark judgments that will be helpful for you, right? Especially for the IPC. Next is law of torts. So under this, you shouldn't ignore the concept of absolute and strict liability. Just try to understand that what is the difference between them and is there any differences available under these liability? Next is the defamation, right? So just try to know the concept of liberal and slander and which is applicable in India right and together with that just also go through the privileges the third one and the very most important part of the tort is remoteness of damage right so just try to know that what is remote and the proximate damage and what are the important case laws covered under this topic after this you can also go through the concept of malice and vicarious liability of the state so for vicarious liability of the state just especially just go through the important case laws last one is the negligence negligence is very important part of your thought so just go through uh, the concept of negligence and is there any uh, theory right uh, or any doctrine with respect to the negligence and the important case laws uh, now we have got two minor acts first one is the consumer protection act 2019 under which just go through the provisions of consumer protection councils and the newly constituted uh, agency which is known as central consumer protection authority so for them you just only have to go through the bear act provision it will be sufficient for you the third one is the consumer dispute redressal commission right so just try to know that how state national and district commission are formed and what are their jurisdictions the last one is the product liability and the mediation, right? So these were also not the part of the old act. These were instituted, these were added in the 2019 act, right? So just also go through the provisions. So for Consumer Protection Act, I will recommend you to just have a bare act reading, right? It will be sufficient. The next minor act is a Motor Vehicle Act. It was also uh, recently amended. So for this, only three topics have been given under your syllabus so what you have to do is just focus on chapter 10 11 and 12 which is covered under motor vehicle act so for these two uh, minor acts right which has been present before you also just go through the minor information like when the amendment was done just try to remember the date also right it will be sufficient for you thank you for watching this video do like and share this video with your friends and do subscribe to the channel to get the further updates.